Hello all and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to install IC Enhancer version 2.1 for Grand Theft Auto IV. Uh, version 2.1 of IC Enhancer is compatible with any patch uh, including the Steam Edition of Grand Theft Auto so you should have no issues with compatibility. However it is recommended to use 1.0.4 as it has it's more optimized for the graphics uh, that IC Enhancer produces. I, um, so yeah, I'll, let's go to the first step and uh, download the mod. Uh, first of all, you're going to have to go to the link in the description. Um, it, uh, the website's icelaglace.com. Once you are on this website, you should see uh, a web page looks something like this. And once you get there, click on Gaming, and then Grand Theft Auto 4, and click Download. Now, it'll lead you to this, and just click on the image, and it'll take you to an ad file link, which after 5 seconds, you click Skip Ad, and it'll take you to a media file link. Skip Ad. And then you download it. However, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Um, so once you've downloaded it, you should get a file that looks like this. Um, when you open it, there should be two folders and a README file. As you can see, uh, the folders are named after the patches. So this folder is for patch 1.0.3, 1.0.4, and 1.0.0.4. And this folder is for 1.0.7 episodes from Liberty City and Steam, which is uh, what I'm using at the moment. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is make a folder on your desktop. If it doesn't matter what it's called, I'm just going to call it IC Enhancer 2.1. Open it up and drag whichever folder uh, applies to the version or patch, I should say, that you're using on Grand Theft Auto. So I'm using Steam, so I'm well not Steam version 1.0.7. So I'm going to drag that folder into there, extract all the files, and that's it for that step. So next, you're going to want to open your Grand Theft Auto directory, which is where the game is installed. So by default, uh, it's in C drive, Program Files, Rockstar Games. And then GTA uh, Grand Theft Auto IV. I highly recommend you make a backup of your game uh, in case something goes wrong or um, just if if it does go wrong, then you've got a backup which has the original files, and it, you don't have to delete any files. It's it's just if it stuffs up for you, it's a lot easier to fix. All right, so once you're in there. You open the folder, and you'll see three folders inside it. Main files, shaders, and optional presets. So the first step uh, is to, uh, not download, uh, transfer the files from inside the main files into your Grand Theft Auto directory. So you just right-click, copy, right-click, paste. It'll ask you to copy and replace the files inside. That's what you're going to want to do. And merge a couple of folders. And that's it. So that's for version 1.0.7, uh, which is also Steam and Episode from Liberty City. There is a folder inside here called Optional Presets, which, as it says, has less saturation, cross-processing, and FXAA. If you need, if you want any of these, for example, a lot of people are complaining about the saturation levels. Just open that folder, copy, paste, replace, done. You got less saturation in your game. Uh, it's as easy as that. The the mod is really easy to install and it is really effective. I can tell you, it is unbelievable what you can do. Um, shaders, I don't recommend messing around with. If you do want to mess with it, go ahead. Um, all you have to do is drag the shaders. 
So yeah, inside the zip file there will be a shaders uh, folder. So you're going to want to in so in your directory go into the folder called common, then shaders, and you'll see this, which is also inside here. Now I do highly recommend you make a backup. Um, I don't know if this yeah there you go. There's a backup already here, so don't worry about it. But all you're gonna have to do drag that across, merge, and replace, merge them all, and that's shaders done. So, uh, look, to be honest, I wouldn't bother messing with shaders as the graphics are already insanely good, but again, it's just an added thing that you can do. Now that's it for Steam and version 1.0.7. You can pretty much get the idea on how to install it, but I will show you anyway. Also with Steam, sorry, I almost forgot. MSI Afterburner can cause your game to crash at the copyright um, text uh, before the game starts, as well as EVGA Precision. If this is if this is happening to you, all you gotta do is close MSI Afterburner or EVGA Precision, and it should load up fine. I know two people who have had issues with those two programs. Um, but yeah, so if if you if it sounds like the issue that you're getting, please just try closing MSI Afterburner or EVGA Precision, and then if that doesn't work, then leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Now with the other patches I'll just delete this the other patches it's pretty much identical but I'm just going to show you anyway there is one added step as you can see in here install this if fresh install um, also by the way don't uh, install the shaders um, it won't work for uh, this these uh, patches of Grand Theft Auto so as you can see, install this if fresh install. All you gotta do, drag those, sorry, copy those, paste them in there. That's that step. Next step, open this, select it all, copy, paste. Pardon me. Yes. Copy and replace. All done. It's as easy as that, guys, and it really is effective. In here, you can see optional presets, less saturation, FXAA, and cross-processing. Um, as I said, it's based on the uh, person who's playing it. For example, I like less saturation, so all you do is open it, copy that, paste it in there, copy and replace, all done. Easy as that. Cross -proce processing, same thing. Just copy and paste it in. It's really effective, guys. The mod is amazing. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it worked. And if it did, don't forget to leave a, g give us a like and subscribe to our channel. It would help a lot, guys. Uh, also, if you've got an issue, just comment down below and I'll try and get back to you guys.